I was sipping my beer and watching the children play with my wife. Hi and welcome back to another episode of SYWK podcast where you can find everything related to the paranormal. You are currently listening to the short horror story series and if you enjoy this format please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. The story that I will narrate is from the website called yourghoststories.com. Please make sure to check out the website since it has one of the best horror stories from around the world. Now without wasting any time, plug in your headphones and enjoy. I was staying happily with my family in Sharjah in a one bedroom flat when we decided to move to a bigger house. After days of research in newspapers and the internet, we finally managed to locate a house which is in the outskirts of Dubai, in which rent was dirt cheap as compared to other villas in the same vicinity considering the fact that the rents had gone down in recent years. We personally saw the house and my wife and children loved it as it was a 3 bedroom villa with a huge lawn and an ample parking space with a swimming pool. But I was somewhat feeling fishy about the house the moment I entered. After finalizing the deal and signing the agreement, we all moved to the villa and the first 3 weeks went in setting up things. It was after the first few days things started to take an ugly turn with a series of events that followed. I and my wife used to sleep in one bedroom and our kids in the other. It was a Friday night when the first incident took place. I and my wife heard loud screams from our children as they barged into our room, terrified and sweating profusely. They were so terrified that it took us almost half an hour to calm them down. When asked, the children told us that they saw some shadow on the wall which was seen hanging from a ceiling fan and was moving like a pendulum. At that time, we did not believe them and told them it must have been a bad dream, but the children were reluctant to go and insisted to sleep in our bedroom. On the same day, both the children were struck with high fever and it lasted for a week. The second incident was at the swimming pool when we were having a night swim during the summer heat. I was sipping my beer and watching the children play with my wife. Suddenly, I saw my wife screaming on top of her voice. The children was also equally terrified. I immediately rushed to check what was wrong and my wife was in a complete state of shock which made her unconscious. After some time when she gained consciousness my wife told me that she felt two hands grabbed her legs and tried to pull her into the deeper section of the pool this was amplified when i saw the imprints of five large fingers over her calf muscles on both the legs things were just getting out of hand and we finally decided to call a priest to do some purification the moment the priest entered the house he could sense that the house had a spirit that died of unnatural causes he chanted his prayers sprinkled some holy water and things seemed to come back to normal which was only a temporary solution one night when we were sleeping we could hear an elderly couple argue in arabic which was coming from my children's bedroom however the kids were fast asleep in our bedroom and i asked my wife not to leave them and i went myself to see what was happening i opened the door slowly and was shocked to find out no one was in the room but the argument was getting louder and uglier and then i decided to take my wife and children and rushed out in the middle of the night and as we rushed out we both could hear a very loud woman scream and then there was pin drop silence we spent until dawn in our car and then we approached the owner and after too much of an argument he told us that he had leased the house to a couple who lived 
for quite a few years. They used to often have an argument due to financial issues and one fine day the man murdered his pregnant wife and killed himself by hanging from a ceiling fan. We immediately vacated the place and shifted to another house. No wonder the owner was giving the villa at a dirt cheap rate. If you would like to submit your horror stories, please send me an email. All the details are in my description. Well, I hope you like the story. If you're listening to this episode on YouTube, comment below and give me your feedback. And if you're listening to this on any of the audio platforms, DM me on Instagram. Thanks for listening and see you in my next episode.